Dexter Dapp's uh, Chad's uh, Success. Feel like. And uh, Trilogy, The Jamaican Leg. The word new is all over the dancehall brand Ritical. New team, new music, and more. Where is Sister Carol, dancehall's first female nominee for a Grammy? Sister Carol comes to tell and chats her daughter who's walking in her footstep. All coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be right back. On Stage with Winford Williams. This segment of On Stage is brought to you in part by Campari. Respect the bitter. In 1996, she became the first female dancehall nominee for a Grammy. But where has Sister Carol been all these years? Back in the 1990s, Carol was widely touted as the antidote to the slapness lyrics that had exploded in the space. And in a bid to keep her music clean, Carol sought and received guidance from another great artist in Jamaica's music, Brigadier Jerry. Sister Carol comes to our stage to not only update us, but to also chat her daughter and exhibit a new track featuring both she and daughter Nakiba right here on our stage. Sister Carol. Greetings, Winfrey. Greetings. Yes, love, King. Good to have you. Good to have you. Okay, so, so first of all, congratulations on this, this new project of yes. yours. You and your daughter, because we haven't heard from you in such a long time. And one would wonder if you're still recording and so on and so forth. Yeah, man. Yeah? I've been doing my thing ever since 1981, and I never stopped, with or without the media. You okay. know, I've been Always touring, working. recording, yeah. you know, mothering, grandmothering, right. entrepreneuring, you know, all the different hats that I wear. I still keep them going. But you're based where? Are you based here in Jamaica or are you overseas? I'm here now. You're here, you're here yeah. in Jamaica yes, now? Yes, I'm here now. But you've spent a lot of time offshore. Yes, I, I've been in New York City since I was a teenager. Yes. You know, and um, after working for years and years and years and years and, you know, I had the opportunity to come home mm -hmm. and I'm now residing in St. Mary, Jamaica. Okay. So you work for years and years and years in music or something else? Well, like I said, you know, recording, performing, yeah. touring. I don't know if you read my bio, I'm also an actress. Yes. Yes. Mothering, grandmothering, entrepreneuring, you know. Like I said, it's many hats, mm -hmm. many, many hats. I, as this, this particular song, Be Alone, is mm -hmm. um, a track that um, my daughter and I produced. My production is Black Cinderella production and her production is Yay X Multimedia mm -hmm. production. So we decided to do this rhythm track called MMS, which is Millennium Movie Star of the famous movie star from back in the studio one days, but yes. we just updated it and, you know, we decided to put um, some of our friends on the rhythm as well. So we have another 13 songs on the rhythm oh. coming up very shortly to be released. But um, here and now we're promoting the first single, Be Alone, yes. Nakiba Manye and myself. Okay, so hold on a second. We're going to, we're going to go, come back to that. But let's go back to to 1996, mm -hmm. when you were nominated for the Grammy. To be the first dancehall artist to, to have been uh, nominated for a Grammy mm -hmm. made you feel how? How did you feel about it? I felt great about it. A rewarding feeling, mm -hmm. a, feeling a feeling of accomplishment. Because not only we were nominated, my husband and I, 
our production company is Black Cinderella Productions. Yes. And we also produce the albums, the album ourselves. Okay. So that was a, like a real gratifying feeling. Oh yes. And we were nominated with the likes of Gregory Isaac, Maxi Priest, Bonnie Wheeler, and the Scatterlights. Mm -hmm. Those names alone are like big names. Yes. Big, so uh, yeah. when we each up monks, them, we just tell myself, them is a winner. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Because they weren't separating the gender. No, no, in, no. In the graph, like they five, don't. Five nominees. They, the Scatterlights, regardless Maxi of Priest, gender. Yes. Bonnie Wheeler. And, and big um, name there. Yeah, and Bonnie Wheeler won that year. Yes. Yeah. How has it, how did that impact your career? In a very positive way. It opened more doors and, you know, broadened the horizon by far, you know? Because when I first got started, people just know Sister Carol and the mic. Mm. But when I started to do movies, like in 1986, 87, mm -hmm. then, you know, my audience just went global, worldwide. You know, yes. people know Sister Carl from everywhere. So the Grammys was just another, um, another vehicle to another, another big promotion to make the thing go wider. To, to for your brand, right? Yes, yes. And that just your brand, but the, your production brand as well. Very much so. Yeah. Yes. So, so you've been touring and all of that. In, I've been all touring. This time? I've been, like I said, touring performing, recording, <laughs> mothering, grandmothering, entrepreneuring, producing, yeah. yeah. You're, putting us, you're putting us to shame now, you know, for not knowing all of this. Well. Because uh, um, in, in Jamaica, we tend to go with what is current and, and so-called hot. And that's what we, and that's what everybody's talking about and promoting and, and at the expense of. Well, sometimes, Sometimes we're hot to some people, yeah. cold to some other people, you know. Yeah. So it's just a matter of your whole value system, you know, and how you see things and, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. And we're, yes. And which brings me now to the, the slackness lyrics of the 90s, mm -hmm. <laughs> which some say you were the antidote for. Because female artists were spitting some lyrics now that you were up to. Well, you were going against that. You, it, it. Let me clarify certain things. Yes. When you talk about slackness, you know, mm -hmm. it's really like sex we're talking about. And for yes. me, sex is very sacred. And I don't like to, as an educator also, because I've also managed to earn a Bachelor of Science degree in education, you know, all of that while I, while I was doing. So I'm also an educator. Uh, okay. And I always look out for the positive lyrics to reach the younger ears. Mm -hmm. So I was very much against the slackness at that time. You know, the, like the blatant sex, you know. We could talk about sex, but it's not mm -hmm. talking about it. It's how you talk about it. Yes. You know, so at that time, you know, I chose to be cultural because I'm cultural mm -hmm. and I'm always going to be cultural and I always expound upon being cultural and staying positive to widen the horizon because sometimes when you talk about, you know, sex and, uh, you know, it's just like an individual thing. We want to get wider than that. We want yeah. to get global. So it's not like you were coming after, going after the, the women who were no, going? No, 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 no. It's, that's not me. That's, that's, you, not that's not you. You were not like, oh, what, what they must say is wrong and this is right? No, not, not no, like that's that. not me. That's okay. Not me. Because you have people doing different things, mm -hmm. you know, and it is your choice, the public choice to choose who are, what they want to listen to or what they want to. Well, maybe because yes. I'm a cultural artist, 42 years now. Yes. No switch, no, no plug out, no nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, it is more likely for people to listen to, to okay, the so commercial the, yeah, parts and the sex and the They bundle. brand you that, but you're yeah. not one who's pushing it no. or embracing it. Because you're branded as the antidote, the opposite of all that. Because you work, whatever you would say in sex would be palatable. Well, uh, 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 like I said, it's not what you're saying, it's how you <laughs> how say it. you say it, it right. Yes. So, so you were presenting a different way to say the same thing, more or less, lyrically. In some of my songs, but we more push everything that is positive, you know? Yes. Might it be political, social, you know, spiritual, educational, mm -hmm. 
you know, but we keep it positive. Yes. We keep it positive because we, we know for sure we'll be able to reach more people that way. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so let's jump into your daughter. Is the grooming now of your daughter? Your role in that and your company. Um, and she, she's, she's hip hop, right? She's rooted well, in hip hop. She started out in, in hip hop and she's been doing music for quite a, little, quite a while now. She have done music with, you know, the Hootang Clan, Kapadana. And um, we have done two songs before. Mm -hmm. A song that I produced called Mum and Pickney Reunion. And also she produced a song called My Jamaica. Mm -hmm. She's talking about Jamaica, Queens in New York, where she was raised. Okay. And I talked about where I came from <laughs> down in Western Kingston. <laughs> okay. But this particular song, Be yeah. Alone, it's an opportunity to bring her fully to the reggae audience and let them know that she was born and raised into a family that deal with this thing. Yes. So, you know, it was her idea, the song. She wrote her part. I wrote my part. She, she, said, she said, Mommy, you want to put something on this? I'm going to say, yeah. Okay. So I brought what I wrote to her, and she said, yeah, man. And when I heard what she was doing, I was quite like, wow, you know? And most times, I have to recheck her because she will say, mommy, this is not ready yet, man. Mm -hmm. Come back. So you can't go on like you're too big for not listen to the youths, you know? <laughs> you have to give them an ear, because okay. okay. it's their time, and they know what they're doing. So that's how the song came about, you know? And she grew up in the household where we play a lot of Studio One. She's very familiar with all the Studio okay. One rhythms. And we chose to do this rhythm here in Jamaica with some top class musicians like the likes of Dale Halsam and Daisy Jones, Computer Paul out of boot camp. And uh, who am I leaving out? Shartman Gitsy, you know? Yes. So the production in it itself was done here in Jamaica, and we love, we love what we did. Mm -hmm. And we brought some of our friends aboard, which is soon to be released okay. in another couple of weeks. But one thing is out there is the video, though. The, the, well, the video for it is out. Right, most definitely, the and, video for our song. And it's right, as it's right now queued up for us to look, take a look at. For the, I'm seeing it for the Keep first up. time, believe it. Ah, yeah. So let's go to it. Sister Carol and daughter Nakiba, right here on our stage, and that one is Be Alone. <laughs> that's it. They'd rather be alone, right? Be alone. That, that's the. Nah, take the foolishness. Nah, take the be foolishness. Alone. Be alone. Yeah. All right, so, so how, is it, how is it doing out there? Uh, um, those who play it on radio and so on, just stop breaking now. Since it came think, out, yes. it's been doing great. Okay. And I know, I know now that we're here on, on stage, I know things will be better. Yeah, I certainly hope our, our following will give you love. Click, go find it online yeah. and, and watch it. Um, I will come back here and look at it again and again and again. Yeah, yeah man. So 
Is it likely it may, you may become a duo, you and that, in music? Well, this particular song yes. is um, telling us that we should do an, an, a full-length a full album together, an EP, as okay. they would say. There you now. go. Yeah. And it's a, it's, it's, it's a proud feeling. Yes. Because um, not, not everybody get a chance to do something with their, chi their, with their offspring. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm very... I'm very proud of her in her works because she's not just an artist. She's an also an educator that does um, serious works overseas. That's why she couldn't be here today. She write, yes. cur writes curriculums for the universities in America. And, you know, she's, she needs a show by herself. Okay. Yes. Uh, we'll keep that until then. <laughs> and, and so who is she in hip hop now? She's still Nakiba, Nakiba Manie. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and she, she's well known? And, and do they know her roots well, in reggae, dance? She have a large following. I would more say like roots underground, you know? Yes. But because they know that she's the daughter of Sister Carol. Yes. Wherever she appears, there's always a massive crowd, you know? Yeah. Yes, like I said, I'm just like bringing her into the reggae field. Yes. More. But it's not, it was difficult to get her to be rootsy and No, man, and she, born like. and she born and grew up with me. Yeah. Yes, she has to be roots. It's not a natural root. Yeah. It's very natural. We don't force things for our children, you know. Yes. Whatever they choose to do, we, we, um, we support them, mm -hmm. you know, but we don't, we don't force them to be who we are to do what yes. we do. But wherever they show us, you know, whatever they're doing, we always give them the strength mm -hmm. and support them. Yeah. Well, Sister Ka, we, we hope you'll get strength, lo lots of it, for, well, for this record with you and daughter, you know what I mean? And that it will do great things for both of you in the global reggae dance house space. Well, I give thanks to the opportunity and I give thanks to the platform on stage and I would really like the Massive and the crew to look out for this new coming up, this new LP coming up called MMS, Millennium Movie Star, with the likes of the great woman Nancy, Sammy Dredd, Michael Palmer, mm -hmm. Glenn Washington, Mama Nancy, Lady Ann, Lady G. I could go on and on, the great Marcia Aiken. I hope I'm not leaving out anybody, but just look forward to it because powerful, you know, power pack. Yes, that, yeah. that is absolutely yeah. power pack. Yeah, if you enjoy oh, yes. be alone, you will twelve drive rather track that's on all, on the album. Ah. Yeah man. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here so and good. thank you for having me. So right? so it's my pleasure to have you my dear. Anytime. Well, keep us keep us posted on what's going on with the career. We'll with do. The duo. <laughs> All right, so there you have her in this segment of our show, Sister Cara. Stay with us, still to come right here on our stage. Ritical, new team, new music, and more. And later, Dexter Dab's uh, Chad's uh, Success and uh, Trilogy, The Jamaican Leg. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams. So this is where we get a much anticipated update. Make a please and me an angel. From Ritical. Bam, bam, and uh, if what we've been hearing are anything to go by about newness, well, you know, a lot of new things will be disclosed today, right here on our stage. <laughs> Richie, sir, that's it. The first All right, sir, so, okay, so jump in and, uh, and tell us the, the news, get, the news swirling out there, new this, new that, just clarify it for us. So we excel and we elevate and we learn more. Yes. We tend to find new ideas, so you don't know. We have a new style of forward with right now, if you understand what I mean, a new flow. A new sound, oh. to be exact, you understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sound. Yeah. Style. Style. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. And also team. 
a team. Yeah. Yes, okay. Me. It's a team meaning management, production, yeah, publicist, all, all of them? Yeah. Okay. Elevation and a reset then. Yeah. We, can't, we, already, we, we continue to do the work, we never stop. So we always step on a, a level still. Mm -hmm. But it's a new outbreak, if you understand what I mean. So a new impact. Yes, it? yes. Yeah. So is it implemented yet or is it to be implemented? Well, it, it can, first, it's already been implemented. Okay. So whatever you're doing in this season, this Yuletide, <laughs> silly season we call it, yeah. will be part of the, the, the renewal, the reset. Yeah, the reset. Okay. So how would you review your, your year nonetheless, this year of 2023? 2023? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm really more focused on like, youth them this year, because you don't kind of get, you know, mm -hmm. start, just start get youth and things. So, never, not that I did stop the music, but kind of take a little time out for you know me really, I go forward it, mm -hmm. with both my youth, understand relationship and all the political things while me at work. So, okay. And I so forward now, me realize, say, yeah. We need to upgrade and like I say, management, like mm -hmm. team. So it's not like me drop nobody from old team mm -hmm. when I have new team. It's just that we add people. Okay. And you know, I said to more me, interested people. Like more restructuring yeah. of, of the team. Yeah. Placing people in different places, places that, yeah. and so on. So I have a stronger body. You know? so okay. Come, that's, that track with Kamala. The touche? Yeah. Is that part of the newness or, or what? Well, that, I, that shot was like, you know, not necessarily, you know, it's like, I have a link with LV, big up LV CMO, you see me? LV big up herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And give me a rhythm, so I just, me did a whole of vibes in the studio and, you know, Kamala tell me, say, she normally do all of the things, man. The um, promotion for the parties, them, the ads, them. Mm -hmm. Cause me, me, me know the voice. You know the voice. I yeah. say, yeah. Are you do this and she did it and I said, just give me something upon this. And that's how she did. She give me something like this and I just work with it. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Yeah, yeah she was telling yeah. us here when she came with the video. Yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 that track is doing well. Yeah, man. It's a go on. It's a go on. Mm hmm. Healthy, it's a go on. It's a go on, man. Say it, say it, say it. And you have a new track lined up right now. Mm -hmm. And are we going to get all of this, the new style and the newness yeah, in this track? Yeah, man. All right, let's take it right now. Come on now, follow me, follow me, better than Saddam Hussein. Not so fi Kaneki, you West dollars off his pen, yeah. Criminal Aladdin, y'all have fi, give me friend. You fi call me properly, then me touch her till you beg, yeah. Hagani, 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 he never dead, there. Yeah. Rich as me bucket, so she go pick up a shine. Wicked and bad me, bad a bitch, give me hell, yeah. Jaga fi, bad no fi, gata, we turn up the place. We do Travel on the waters rapidly. Anything me want buy, you know cash equip. Have a Mexican girl where you stack a brick. Me a Villa Beltran do the packaging. Rich and have a mount of soldier. We ship the product, no, but it no know that knows. I live in like the coast of Nostra. You know the program, couple by couple port all over. Well, uh, they all a thing for buy out Nova Scotia. But at the least, we have couple boat, we have float all over. Money enough when the boat that champion we a papa no soda. Congratulations and no post my own song. So come on now, follow me, follow me, better than Saddam Hussein. Not so fi Kaneki, you West dollars off his pen, yeah. Yalla fi ya give me friend, yo fi call me properly, then me touch her till you beg, yeah. Hagani, 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 he never dead, eh. Rich as me bucket, so she go pick up a shine, wicked a man. <laughs> Alibaba is the name of that track, yeah. <laughs> new indeed. <laughs> They're all new, Ritical. <laughs> yes, I, do you see the newness? Spit it out there, Reggie. Yeah. yeah. Everything fresh. Everything, the visuals. I want it more forward to my. That's a new I ladies. Know, that's what I say. <laughs> 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 okay. So this track, this track is running out there now? Yeah, it's out there already. It is already. Okay, and love I get already. Yeah, man, it's a go on, man. Yeah, man, and I must have to listen to your right? You must have to listen to where you're telling you. So, okay, so it's a, it's a bigger project, you say? Yeah, well, 
Fall coming up. Coming up. Yeah. So next year we, we may get an album. It's an EP. I, an EP? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably done in a you know, probably in the middle of the year still. Same. Mm -hmm. So what about people that take aim at the Grammys? Do you harbor that in your head? Are you thinking about why one day we have to yeah. go thing there, you know? The Grammy yeah, thing. Yeah, you know? for real, yeah, yeah. Can, you know, I'm really feeling and knowing of myself. Mm. So I can hear my for Grammy in a, like many different aspects of music still, you know? Like reggae, probably just go dance mm -hmm. but I really have focus like for like for track some more find some more attraction first, you understand? Yes. Before, probably me, yeah. me can be wrong also though. No, not sure, yeah, yeah, but that's yeah, just yeah. my you belief, never know. you understand? Yes. Yeah, Sister mean? Carol, yeah. who <laughs> right. we had earlier, she's yeah. the first female <laughs> yeah. um, dancer nominee for a Grammy, back mm -hmm. in 96. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the consumers of our music, especially those offshore Jamaica, for them, it's not necessarily, it, it's not necessarily in keeping with what we know. Yeah, about, too, man. about forward for you know too, what I mean. Man. So Grammy works. Too, Sometimes man. we can't understand. What am I to get Grammy? But yeah, can never try. It. Never, yeah, it's not, not a commercial thing either. It's it's the artistry mm -hmm. that they watch. They look at the artistry, the musicianship, and the extent yeah. of music and real instrument being no, played in, in a record. Those things are, are what they, they, they tell you, they, they promote music and musicianship. The voters, they know that. Okay. And they are true lovers of music. And when I talk about just reggae, all genres, yeah, yeah, the same okay, thing yeah, apply yeah. to them. I even dance out there. You can't get dance out there with normal, with um, of course. authentic beats, live beats. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, Damian Marley is dance out. Mm -hmm. Shaggy, mm -hmm. dance out. Sean Paul, dance art. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, man, we win um, Shabba Ranks, dance art. Beanie so, Man. Beanie Man, all we dance art. <laughs> okay. Fully dance art. All dance art. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so it's not a matter of say we have I to just work or... still, you know? I just feel like I just work. I just work and work and then somehow to pay off. You know, must get gummy, but you're still great. Because yes. in the idea, you never you bury someone and get no gummy. Yes. And, uh, you know, bury someone put in holy power. It's a great body of work, and nobody can walk around him. Can't go around him. Yeah, but I would say to all a man like Barry, it's not to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think he's worried about that. No, no, man. sir. You already know that. They're not worried about that. They're great enough for Yeah. They don't need. Not really worry about that. A bungler people for saying. Yeah. We like this and we're nominated or we're. That man ain't worried about that. Because them, that timeless catalog of. At the end of the day, work still a show, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah and, and you will see people like him get great awards, mm -hmm. uh, rewards I mean, yeah, in the I'm, long I'm, run. I'm, in the long run, yeah. So Grammy is just one. Yes. You can get probably uh, 15, 10 different awards. And Absolutely. You better. Better. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. so, so, so great work like that in music will never go, go anywhere. Yeah. So when, when somebody takes time out to do good work, to put the time in mm, and to mm. and to think of topics that can reach people and make a difference in their lives. Yeah, man. Be yeah, man. To, to give them a little bit of happiness, inspire them and, and lift them out of their misery and yeah, all this. People really look for leaders and so uh, yeah. people are really lost to, you know. I have blind I lead blind to still, is it me? So you're Politics. producing and you're recruiting and so on and growing your camp with yeah. where is that? I didn't know. My, my, my artists them to see them where we are forward up new. I mean, just, just I take time out, time with them, wait till they're ready. Make sure they're patient and have a, you understand? Well governed. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Govern them to win, to mm -hmm. be international recording yeah, artists. Understand. Yeah, man. And I hope all the youngsters them are think like that. Mm -hmm. And man like you now who know, because you, you're committed, we know that. I understand. That. So when any little youth where you are going to get now, we just uh, we, yeah. we'll assume that they, yeah, they point them to the globe. Right direction. And, uh, mm -hmm. Because, and you can't, you must know, say so you need visa and them things to fly out, to, exp, to promote your music mm -hmm. and to mm -hmm. explore Ex the love expand. out there. Stretch your wings. Expand. You can't, you, so you have to be 
visa ready, so to speak, in Jamaica by staying out of, out of mix up. Trouble, yeah. And trouble. So you're not getting a record bridging. Got too much man down mm -hmm. there, rich in the music and True, can't man. move. Not accepted. So those things are things that we hope youngsters like you, mm. probably more effective than oldsters like me, mm -hmm. in getting kids to listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know, but like, them say dance are really most promote violence, but not really. Mm. Dance are just aggressive and really violent. They're just, mm. I just, if a person violent, if you understand what I mean, yes. that him I go really want to proclaim or him grow or him know. Mm -hmm. You see me? So, really and truly, if the only thing the man them need to know is that dance are is a happy place. To, you see me? Like our Afrobeat is a happy place. Mm -hmm. You see me? So, if we can, if we can bring it to a happy place, even the, the little controversy can be a happy thing too, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, but it's it, 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 it was, you know, yeah, dance yeah, that, hall was, but that it, it is called dance hall because you don't it was know, created but I got the same, yeah, in the that. physical dance. Mm -hmm. it in was, the hall. That's where it was created, you know, it's mm -hmm. not a studio mm -hmm. music. A show, man, in the hall. Uh, you know, the dance hall, you know, the, you know, the, the, dance. You know, the law and the music hall back in the day. Mm -hmm. I hope me here a place where, you know, sometimes I'll in a country, a bush. Yeah. <laughs> where, you know, it's a man of fierce The man have no use for it. <laughs> the piece of land, when, <laughs> but, you know, and you, you can put up the sound and they say, go on. Yeah. And, and DJ come on and start chat by mic and sing as I sing. And people just enjoy and people mm -hmm. that dance and so on. It's, it's poor people's music, mm. right? like mm. reggae. Both for of real, them man, are, for are real. poor people's music. For real, man. And so everything was poor. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the venues were poor. Everything poor people are hungry when they must sing. I exploit to get the They had money feed food, 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 The music was born from uh, people who are hungry. That's where the music always come from. Yeah. I even know if you check the ratio where all the great artists them come from background. The music always come from a poor place. A poor people make it. They understand. A poor people make yeah. the music. Room. Yeah, right. And and yeah, so man. when you hear people are talking about reggae, they must know that you're talking about when we talk about the heartbeat of a people, mm -hmm. yeah, the music give them life. Mm -hmm. Those without, mm. those who had no food, you know, food. Yeah. Like food. Real food. Real food, road boy. People are sing for hungry. Sir Cox would tell me man. that. Him always a cook man. a show, man. And the youth, them would come up from, from like Trench Town and some of them, are, them just come for audition and they know so they are going to eat. Mm. But so the music was always a, a, the, the people's music. Mm. And this is why it, it can itself correct some of the foolishness and yeah, violence and, music and, and, push people, and the death and sink and the music itself, right, was what music people turned really to for refuge and for, and for healing. The power, the power of music, that's the reason why it got both ways. Yeah. Because of the power we travel with. Yes. It's very it, it influential, motivating and yes. it, you understand? So whatsoever you are seeking the music, you shall find it. As a, Aye, that is you music. must want good. Yes. And good will follow you. Yes. As usual, we <laughs> always have a good talk when you come back with stage. Yeah, yeah, and we want you again, we're, we're calling for people to support you. You are you, a youth with good heart. That You're helping it. other young, youngsters. You're a young leader in my view. Which so is, you uh, need support. Because yeah, you are closer to the demo where I give, give the most trouble uh, than, <laughs> than, than most are we. Uh. You are closer to them. You can reach them easier, Bridget. So yeah, we yeah, must support yeah, yeah, you yeah. and true, strengthen true. you. So we can have a powerful To power. show them the light. Which is right. To show them the light of survival. Mm -hmm. To survive mm -hmm. the moment. All the, all the evil and wickedness and hunger that they are facing. Survive the moment, youth. Never yeah, predict man. the future has been bad or that your life shall, ever, shall forever yeah, be bad. Because, because just, of you Just survive up, that year. And day because by day, you grow up, survive, youth. Can't destroy your mindset with what you see happen around you. You have to have a faith. Yes. Create an image in your mind and a positive one. And work towards it, yeah, man. Just yes. start play out. Well, mm. as we say, Bridget, so. What well, good, Ritty? That is it. And bring back things when they happen. Come tell me. <laughs> yeah, man. Definitely. I'll go see it, man. All right. Probably you'll call me next. All right. <laughs> so, so well, we, we are always here to call <laughs> Ritty. All <laughs> right. So that, that's him in the segment of our show, Ritical. And next.
Dexter Dots, the trilogy. On stage with Winford Williams. He is one of the hardest working in the Jamaican music business. But just when we thought he would take it easy for the Yuletide season, Jamaica! Dexter Dabs is about to embark on a trilogy a Jamaican tour, and he's on our set right now to give details on that. Next up, sir. Yes, sir. Bless in love, sir. Once again. Bless in love, because we have to give enough love and respect, Reggie, and, and congratulations, yeah, man. Yeah, man, appreciate because, it. Because, yeah, your visibility, yeah. your mobility. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot now. Oh, wow, Reggie. Yeah, a lot going on. You, you work 24 hours, hours a day, it seems, Reggie. No, bro. Every time we look, Dexter did this or Dexter did this. <laughs> we can't get enough, Dexter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you do this? Man, it's just, it's just the love for it, you know? It's yes. just the love for the music. The, 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 the music is a, is a driver. The, yeah, the, the love you have 100%. for it, the passion for the music. Yeah, because without, without the music, there's no fans, you know yes. what I mean? And the fans, them car for way all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not like we just jump up and say we're going to look, look at energy somewhere or something. The fans actually yearn for that, that, that spot. Yes. So we just curate something, make, make, make them happy, you know? And by fans, you mean the women. <laughs> <laughs> the women are Yeah, are in, in the majority. Calling. In the majority, yeah. They can't seem to get no, enough. No, like, in the majority, the women. Yes. yes. <laughs> and that's everyone's dream <laughs> to, to own the females. Yeah, man. Every artist should dream like that. The yeah. outside, man. You know them dress up, them do them ear, them nails, them, them yes. eyelash, them, them, them hard for it. So we definitely appreciate them, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, you know, that doesn't mean that, we, you know, the credit that you're, you're due for delivering. Yeah. This isn't easy, we know. Mm -hmm. And maybe you should talk a little bit about that, what yeah. it takes to do this, this Dexter. Because people yeah. see out there, if some boy might enjoy himself mm -hmm. in Rare, talk about this for us. It's a lot, you know? A whole heap, a whole heap with, listen, for, for, for your artists where not signed, mm -hmm. really, for doing me, I do, it's, it's like, the only, only way I see it me and God, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we understand how it happens sometimes. Because it's just the drive for me, have and just say, yo, I go out there and do it. Mm -hmm. And when we see it come through, it's like motivation for continue and do it, you know what I mean? Yes. But it, it all started one time I say, I really like how I'm being presented as an artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it was like, big up to every promoter out there, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But it was like the promoters, them never understand some of them never understand what it mean to me to be presented mm -hmm. as the, the person where me want to be presented as. Yes. And it's like, what do you think my responsibility was that? Me have to take up the responsibility to say, all right, present yourself in a way where you feel like you should be, and then they will learn from it. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it's like, at first, I remember doing a show, just for example, me I do the show, I must say two stick behind me with a cloth, go straight across with my name on it. And that trouble me. Because mm. I go up on the stage and I look on it and I say, hold on, that's my backdrop. When time I look on the international artists, their backdrop is yes. like this glorious thing, cameras and, and screens all about. You're like, whoa, that's the level I belong. That's the level I should be at. You yeah. know what I mean? So it was like, for me, to just go in my pocket now and spend that extra money with promoters then probably want to save and just present myself that way there. Oh. Because we never really want to be presented as that person down this and keep myself at that level there. You know what I mean? So you One deliberately main... invest in your brand? Yeah, that, you that's how it started, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I didn't care if seven people wanted to show up at the show. It was more like 
hey, just look what Dexter Dab's brand is. This is what it's supposed to look okay. like. This is where me want to present myself as. You understand? So that's how everything started. And well, that, that is music, should be music to the ears of yeah. artists. But it's not easy to do. Because yeah, you have to and to the promoters the them to as well, you know what I mean? Because, big, as I say, big up to the promoters, them will understand it because there are promoters yes, that okay. understand that and present the artist brand, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I've been to places where people ask me, where my name, like far out places, like where your name and them thing, they, like me and a whole crowd of people who know me and people still ask me, where my name, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like the brands, are not promoted enough. They know the songs, but yes. they don't know the brand. So you you became involved in the, in yeah. the decision making. In, you yes. don't leave it to to maybe management to do your bookings or your no, booking agency and those. To say, all right, I'm gonna promote myself, and I and I do take shows still. I mean, I haven't stopped. I didn't stop. I will never stop. Mm. But it's just certain things where me want to present myself. In a particular certain fashion, way. yeah, yeah, and and really. But that's a, where it is, you know, in the in the in the global game. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Everybody have that investor where actually take part in that the yes. decision makings. You know what I mean. But unfortunately for most of we we you know, get the opportunity for reach the sign mm -hmm. part of it. So it's like, what are you gonna do? Invest in your brand and the same thing with the label would I do. Yes, well, the same thing that a label would do, do it yourself. Yeah, just don't try to save and, your money too much. And, 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 and you have to try to invest in it, because the more you save, the more you end up use. Yes. And some look on it, because you save, you run, save, you yes, save. You have to invest now while you're yes, hot. Because you save for something, you know. Yes. So, no I will like to use, man, so better you invest. Yes, yes. Makes sense, my friend. You yourself, and not another man I do it, because he's going to do it when he see profit, you know. Yeah, man. 100%. You know what I mean? So you doing it for profit too. Yeah. So that in the, fu in the future, a man knows what you stand for. Your brand will be defined, properly defined. And, properly. And properly managed. One of the things I started having the yes. shows in, in, in venues that I know won't have that splur of uh, foolishness going on. Mm -hmm. Cars being stolen, um, okay. fights being broken out. Like mm -hmm. them stigma there. Never want to be in my brand too. You know what I mean? So it's like we try to use them clubs they know I mean, the fans they want to feel safe for come. Huh? Like that's where Dexter is. I'm wow. definitely going. You know what I mean? Because you do, you know, you have those people who are really scared and say, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to go but I want to see the artist, but I don't like, really like that venue there. You know what I mean? So that comes with it too. You have to know where you bring the artist sometimes. Huh? Then you have certain venues where we learn now where the music is actually recorded, like registered in a system where, hey, they know now that you did that amount of people there and everything. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's like, say you okay. did 2,500 people in a club, like, it's not registered. The, the system doesn't know you did that 2,500 okay. people. Yes. But if you did it in a club that's registered in the right way, then they know. That, yes, so that's so now a, you're a more likely to get signed. For the future, yes. yes because they because do, now the these analytics are, are collected, the data. Yes, the data. Now these labels are connected with these clubs that are signed up with the system, so they know your numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in, in, instead of me just going a hole in the wall and just I do some shows where people not even know much numbers mm -hmm. I'm doing, but the people that are there. I started booking, which is a little bit more expensive, and okay. but it's worth it because now your numbers are being exposed. You know what I mean? Yeah. So myself at a 500,000 venue now, the system knows. You know what I mean? And, and it shows because I'm being approached by okay. different labels and so, stuff. So, so it's not just that women are screaming out their, th their throat no, for you. No, it's a whole movement. It's, it's, it's money is being made for those who are investing. Yes. Which sometimes we don't pay enough attention to. Exactly. The promoter and, and them who have put up the show. Yes. That you must satisfy them. Yes. And when you satisfy them, what you're saying, that data is collected. Yes. The next promoter wants 
Dexter Daps because the numbers are good. Numbers are good. You know, yeah. you're allowed in, in bigger venues. And That's business you know. 101 in a road boy. And just that, keep that going I tell up. You just keep yo, going up. That is what our people need to understand in this yeah. business. It's no secret. It's not me. I try to hide. It is discipline. It is it's hard just, work. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah, it's no secret. It's not me. I try to hide. It's not me. I try to go around. It's something me. I try to get every young youth to understand. Say, if you don't have another way, is 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 your way. Yes. You know what I mean? If there is no other way where you see, it's your way now. So take up everything in here and, and just take it on. Learn what you need to learn, boss. Yes, yeah. And, and understand it so that you can go for it. It's a numbers game now, 100%. Yeah. Because yeah. as seen... you say, venues are doing it. Not yeah. to mention yeah. the online streaming numbers, the, all the other numbers that they're using and looking at your, 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 your socials yes. to see where your fans are all located. That numbers. So you're going into a market, no, you know, no them don't know, can look and see how many people around there love Dexter Daps. They already know. Your footprint is, yes. is, is there. And, and so if you don't have a footprint, a promoter can't tell you anything. Yes. He definitely uh, you can't tell you anything. You can't make the demands. Just come and come to your show and shut up. Yes. That's all you have to do. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's good for know your worth. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Yes, it's good right. for know your value. All right, sir, so, so your career in terms of recordings now and those things, where are you in, with that? Yeah, because you, you're so live every day. <laughs> album mode, man. It's so, it was so hard, you know, for mm. be on the road and do all these yeah. shows and still working on the album. But the album is part of the road. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like so many things I've seen on the road and so many things I've been through on the road were in the album as well. Yes. So that's why it's called a trilogy because it's like three dimensions of Dexter Apps. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So it's like, we have the love, and then we have the explicit, obviously, for the, my ladies, them, we yes. love that. And then we put apart when we have reality. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I just these three sides, this trilogy is all about. Obviously, we have more sides to me, mm -hmm. but these three sides are what me want. I like pan this album here. Yeah. And I believe it's three of my most important parts because these three sides help me to be who me is today. Yes. So I just want to stay and, real. And the reason why you're doing the three Jamaican locations, explain the that. The trilogy, part. man. The trilogy, first yes, of all. It's trilogy, the trilogy, but, you know. Yes, but, all right. but you're doing a, tour, a local um, tour. This is an album where yes. I dropped a single off it. Mm -hmm. And then I started touring it without even dropping the album. Yes. And my biggest thing was to just bring it all, all over mm -hmm. and make everybody get some kind of understanding of what is to come. In person. It, yes, in person. Right. So I'll bring it to the US. Mm -hmm. Then I'll bring it to the UK first. Oh, then I'll okay. bring it to the US. Then I'll bring it to Canada. Mm -hmm. And the whole of Jamaica cost me coming. You don't plan for it, you know. <laughs> Okay. Don't plan for it. I said, I have to no, bring it home. Yes. 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 I'm going to plan for it. I said, yes, I'm going to bring it home now. By the time they've done a cost marry, they say, all right, simple. I'm going to give you a tree. Uh -uh. Make sure so spread it out. Nobody not going to complain from that far. Say so they couldn't make it here. Yes. I give everybody a chance. Because a long time, I didn't really do an intimate show with my culture, my country, Jamaica. Yes. You know what I mean? And, you know, I saw now here when I said this. But when I just said this, I get it out of the way. Big respect to Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Big respect to Chris Brown. Big respect to Trey Sands. Mm -hmm. They hear them call me the Jamaican, three of them, them man the name. Yes. The Jamaican Michael Jackson, Jamaican Chris Brown, Jamaican Trey Sands. If Michael Jackson was alive, we would have full up him show. I'm soon to full up Chris Brown and Chase our show. Let's please pull up my show <laughs> and come back. Let's come go out of the thing. But you can't come to Jamaica and them definitely not that time. Yes. Just, yes. Please just come out. Three shows, Kingston, Ochi, and Negril. Let's make have some fun. You and know them not nothing over you anyway. No, oh, God, stage. man. Them and them I owe you to do that. I owe you to do that. Jamaica with that. So make yes. we see how we are support who we know. Yes. You know what I mean? But to what extent, Dexter, you're. you're R&B credentials, your exposure <laughs> to R&B, that foundation yeah. that you have in R&B, yeah. uh, how is it impacting you? How, is, it, it, is it not part of this? It is the woman more than R&B. Yes. You know what I mean? Because 
you can't talk to the woman them certain way to me. You have to mm -hmm. find a way to make them understand you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So it's not, I don't run down an R&B vibe or uh, any vibe. I'm just doing music. Yes. But every minute we do me try to drop yes. a dance hall vibe in it. In it, yes. We make Absolutely. sure that this me a push. Yes. For my album, big up to every international artist. We have so many international artists, friend. But a dance hall artist more a feature mm -hmm. for my album. Same. You understand yes, what I say? This album definitely wait, means so much to me. I just, that me a rock. Ah. Push my dance hall artists them as, as far as I can push them. Ah. Well, sir, we're happy for your success. Yeah, man. <laughs> we look forward to the album. I appreciate you know what I mean? And, uh, and it's, it's the way we want artists to walk. Yeah, man. Progress I make. We, we, we look for a show, show Ram. Yeah. Everybody, promoter happy. The artists happy. The fans are going Everybody home go home happy. happy. We want more of that, Reggie. Offshore. Yeah. OK, no, no, we're not talking about Dung yet, so when you, you burn up one little venue around this. Yeah. We want you to go out there in the world that we are seen on, on, in social <laughs> and, and, and in media. Say, so yeah, do well. Yeah, man. Because all of us get a little glory out of it. We buy that, you know, see? Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, and, definitely. And, and them youngsters must take it. I hope they heard you about brand management and yeah. awareness of the, yeah. of the business of music, because that's what you yeah, now do. Yeah, it's really important. You've yeah. gone behind the, 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 um, the scene to know how things work. Yeah. And taking and managing your brand. Yeah. Brand management yep. in this paradigm is critical. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And you are managing. So every artist must think like you, Bridget. Yeah, and, it's never a problem and, to get and, signed, you know. It's never a problem to, yeah. to, to, to enhance your thing with other people. But the thing is, you just got to sign the right deal. Yes. You know what I mean? You got to make sure they're out there for you. Mm -hmm. Also themselves, you know what I mean? Because nobody now put in some money for make but the same money. Yes. You know what I mean? People want to make three times what they put in. Yes. You understand? Yes. Which is business. So you can't pre them thing. You just have to know say them out there for your brand and mm -hmm. your brand are going to look like what you want it to look like uh, at the end of the day. The business off. The business off. Yeah. Red jig. That's good to know, Bertie, because we don't want we don't want people to think a lucky thing. Every no, man can do it. You can you can just pull yourself together, pull it all together. It's in you have the capacity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To do it, you have the app. Turn it on that app. <laughs> That operating system in the head, yeah, Reggie, man. turn it you down and go out there and make the money. Yeah, man. And position your brand where, yes. where you want you to be. Where it can sustain. You drive it, you manage it yourself. Yeah, man. And there may come a time when you will have people begging you to do it and can do it for you. Yeah. And you can just focus on maybe artistry, but as it stands, I'm fairly good. You make and yeah, man. That I key now. You need to know. You, you need to talk a little more to them here, sir. <laughs> you need to win every chance to get Dexter yeah. and Jordan on side. And yeah, you know when they're in the bag of chatting more time, you know. But yeah. you know, sometimes you're right. The more we talk, some people can take it. Even if them not say them take the less, them can yeah, take man. it and do a, a world of things with it. You know what I mean? Yes, you're 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 as good as your last performance. But as 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 me that said earlier, you have you have to know who to talk to. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. some people run with different narratives of yes. your conversations, okay, okay. Which, which you can't bother with sometimes because mm -hmm. sometimes it's distracting, you see? Mm -hmm. So if you're on a mission and you're going to try to swing me, you know, I'll deal with something. Mm -hmm. You understand? I say I'm proud to take an interview with her on stage. Yeah. You understand? Because I know say, you are going to look out for a brand too. You oh, know yes. what I mean? And that's why I have to come here and say, be of myself and act nice because I look out for your brand too. Yes. <laughs> See, I all I'm just it. nice to and put on my shoes too. I mean, can't look full, full part on stage. I want to. You can't. <laughs> you can't dis disappoint your girls <laughs> ever tall on that stage. They will come after you. Yeah, I hope you know that. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They watch. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. So, we look forward to the album then, yes, sir. Big album. And uh, the trilogy? It's in December 1st. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in. Kingston, Ronnie Williams Park, is yes. it? Which we never performed in yet, so I look forward for that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. December 2nd will be Pearly Beach, Ochi. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Ochi, I forward. More be a people you can come to. Don't cuss me out. Remember, I'm going to some fest. Mm, yes, <laughs> yes. December 3rd now will be Waves Beach, Midville. You understand? So 
we are keep the the one the all white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are keep the one there with fashion, all white. No more all black today, but all white. You see me? Waves beach niggas. So we just wanna make sure we spread it out and make sure Jamaica get a feel of everything, you know what uh, I mean? Okay. Three prime locations, everybody can find the location. it would be interesting to see you. How, how many of your fans will follow you to this <laughs> We're we'll going to the trail. We're going to the ones, we're going to go the diety, though, the wet with some party right through. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Your inspiration, boy, is a good note on which to say. Every time, every time. So, so long, okay. next time, to congratulate you again, yeah, Bridging, man. and to tell you that we're looking forward to this album. Yes, sir. Because that, that album is going to be special. January 12th is a special it's, day, my okay. birthday. That That's album, the Reggie, we, we look forward to it. Yeah, man. And it is in line now for, our, for our, the Grammy look. Your way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Grammy? <laughs> Early enough, they can't say it. You can't. Grammy? You must. <laughs> Me are forward enough with two fish and Grammy. Then look out for <laughs> next adapts. That will be something, Reggie. You'll be getting that Grammy day. Yeah, right. Okay, sir. So there you have him in this segment of our show, Next Adapts. And that's our show for this week, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us. Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more On Stage. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.